Hey guys, Dave from the Centurions Review. What I have here is Panzer Pranks. It's a World War II as it actually was in the movies. It's by Kurt and Steve Lortz. The manufacturer is the Chaosium. They ha There's another game from them I have. I think it's called Stomp. And in that game, you're elves and you're trying to tie the shoelaces of a giant who's trying to step on the elves or something. But uh, this is much different. This is a World War II type game. This was either from the late 70s or early 80s. I can't remember which. Uh, we'll probably find out when we open it up, though. But it says World War II as it actually was in the movies. Let's read the blurb here. From the lush fields of northern France and the wastes of Africa, the endless steppes of Russia, and the paradisical atolls of the South Pacific, Panzer Pranks takes you to the World War II you've always known existed. Though you can never find it in the history books, a departure and a representation of non-history, this parody game simulates tactical engagements in the epic global struggle as perceived by the non-combatants. So... It's about World War II as it was in the movies. Let's take a look inside. Let's see if I can get this out of here. All right, let's see what's in here. Got the book, the counters, and looks like the maps in the middle of the book. Sequence of play, simultaneous movement and fire sequence, sequential move and fire. Interesting. Movement, fire attacks. This is interesting. So these are extra, I guess, counters you could cut out here uh, interesting yeah the map is pretty lame uh, here's the counter mix there's artillery in this infantry and then there's some scenarios let's take a look at the counters So it looks like the counters, since the map doesn't have any terrain, the counters have terrain, and I guess you put the terrain on the map. So I guess that gives it a lot of replayability, since uh, you can make the map different each time you play it. And then it's got a bunch of armored units here, and what's this with the... Oh, let me see if I can zoom in on that so you can see it. Looks like there's a bottle of wine here, or champagne or something, but... Interesting, so it's 1980 is when this was made. So, one day I'll give this a shot and let you guys know how it is. Maybe I'll write up a review of it, but so far it doesn't look that promising. But who knows, sometimes when you try a game it turns out to be awesome, even though the components and stuff didn't really impress you, but we'll see. Anyhow, if you liked watching the video, please click like on the video and please subscribe to my channel. Have a good evening.